Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about just um, how we see color. And so we're going to start with just some of the basic terms of color. And so I have this chart here with wavelengths. So color is light. So we see light energy and we see um, light waves. And so basically, you just need to know the definitions. So the wavelength is what the light looks like. So you can see here, you have the up and down kind of squiggles. That would be the wavelength. And as you work down the chart here, you can see the size of the wavelength um, determines its color. So if it's really short, quick wavelengths, then it's going to be down here. This The hue would be the purplish colors down here. And as the wavelengths get longer, it's going to move down into these yellows and reds. And that's just wavelength determines color. And actually the term color, it, it, it really is hue. So if you see on a test what is hue, hue is just color. It's, it's the name. So the hue could be yellow or red or blue or green. Hue is just um, what we're interpreting that wavelength, what color we're interpreting it as. Okay, so then this kind of helps you see that um, wavelength will help us. The shape of the wavelength determines the hue. And so here we've got different hues. We've got um, the hues that we see on the rainbow here. Okay, and then over here we've got intensity. Intensity is how bright that that color that we're seeing is. Um, the the darker it is, the deeper the 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 color here so it's going to go from black to white and so we're on this blue scale and as you increase intensity it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and as you um, decrease the intensity it gets darker and darker and darker okay so now we're going to talk about the theories of color vision so how does color vision work and this is paired well with the other video about parts of the eye. So to know uh, color theories well, you need to understand rods and cones. And so make sure you watch that video first. So we're going to start with the young Helmholtz trichromatic theory of color. And this theory is that you have three uh, cones, three photoreceptors, and these three cones are seeing three different colors. And those three colors are red, green, and blue. And you can see the three cones on this image and all other colors we see are just uh, shades of that, that red, green, or blue. And that's the colors that we pick up according to the trichromatic theory of color. So if we go to the next theory, this theory is called the opponent process theory. And the opponent process theory states that you have three photoreceptors. One is picking up blue and yellow together, two opposing colors. The other is picking up red and green, two opposing colors. And then your third is detecting the blacks and the whites. And the opponent process theory is, is good at explaining how someone could have color blindness, whereas the trichromatic theory of color has a more difficult um, explanation of trying to understand color blindness. But according to the opponent process theory, if someone is colorblind, then they are just their one of their photoreceptors isn't working properly. So if they have red green color blindness, their red green photoreceptor isn't working, and so they are seeing seeing the world in shades of blues and yellows, and they're also getting those blacks and whites, but they're not able to see the reds and greens. Or if somebody has a, a, a blue-yellow color blindness, then they're seeing the world in reds and greens and blacks and whites, but they're not able to pick up that blue or yellow. Someone can have um, a full color blindness where their, their two cones, their red and green and blue and yellow cones aren't working. And so they are just picking up everything in black and white. And so that helps us understand color blindness a little bit better. It also helps us understand after images. And so I'll show you a picture of an after image. This is a photo that has inverted colors, and what you should do is you should stare into this white dot. Um, 30 seconds is probably an ample amount of time, and so if, if you're staring into that white dot, what I'd suggest you do is just pause the video, and then um, after you have um, looked at it for 30 seconds, then what you'll do is you'll just um, change your vision over to the, the white space, and in the white space, you should see a red, white, and blue flag. And so pause that, and you can do it if you want to, 
issue and I'll explain why that happens. And so according to the opponent process theory, what's happening is your photoreceptors that are picking up these yellows and these greens are seeing it so long that they're starting to get tired of seeing that color. And so what happens is when you move your um, eyes over here, what happens is your red blues kick in and your opposing colors kick in and start interpreting red blue when there is no red blue. And so the reason why that helps explain the opponent process theory is because maybe those cones are picking up opposing colors and your cone that picks up red green, when it's tired of seeing green, it, it overcompensates and sees red. Um, and so it just help us, it helps us maybe understand why this occurs if if your cones are seeing opposing colors. Okay, so that is color vision. Hopefully that's helpful. Send me an email if you need um, a little extra explanation.